Earthquakes rattled Yellowstone Park today for the fourth consecutive day. As John Daly reports, scientists are keeping a close eye on all the seismic activity, looking for any indication of something bigger than the 3.9 magnitude tremor which hit on Saturday. John? Dean and Jed, that's right. You know, the Mountain West region and Yellowstone in particular are no strangers to earthquakes. But what scientists say is unusual is to see the kind of energy that they're seeing for this extended period of time. Yellowstone is a geologic park, basically an active volcano with a hydrothermal system seen in geysers and hot springs, all fired by a chamber of magma five or ten miles deep. The region is a hot spot for earthquakes, even big ones like the 7.5 Hebgen Lake quake in 1959, which left a 20-foot split in some locations. Over the last four days, U of U seismograph stations have monitored an energetic set of Templars, more than 250 events, including nine of magnitude 3 to 3.9. Wiggle that you see are actually events that occurred or uh, um, in the last uh, 11 uh, hours. Earthquakes? And earthquakes, yes. We spoke with U of U researcher Bob Smith from Wyoming today. He says the quakes, strong enough to be felt by park workers and guests, are unusual. But we haven't had this energetic or intense of a swarm in, in, you know, in many years, well over a decade. So it's, uh, it's not normal, it's unusual, and it's notable. Why now, and is it a precursor of more to come? All that is a mystery. We don't know why it just happened now. We, we normally get 1,000 to 2,000 earthquakes a year in Yellowstone. Uh, the fact we got, you know, 250 or so in three days means we made up a lot of that, that energy release in a short period of time. The Wasatch Front itself is due for a potentially major earthquake. Scientists say the Yellowstone quakes should serve as a reminder. But when they do occur, when it does happen, it's going to be an extremely uh, large impact. The quakes did continue today, though scientists say none of them reached greater than 3.0 on the Richter scale. There's a lot of great information about all this on the web. For links, check out our website, ksl.com. Dean and Jed, back to you. Thanks, John.